Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Review of the As Seen on TV Bella Cake Sickle Maker. All right, this is a little bit different than usual because I actually went to the Salvation Army, which is a secondhand store. I picked this up. Usually I buy things brand new, but I decided what the heck, check out the Salvation Army. So I was able to pick up this relatively expensive As Seen on TV product for only $4.99 at the Salvation Army. So. If you have a you know a secondhand store in your uh, local neighborhood, I'd say check it out. Maybe you'll find some asking on TV products there and save a little bit of money. But um, from what I can tell, it's it's new and uh, want to test it out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my videos, go to Patreon.com/NineMalls. All right, I'm gonna put uh, take this out of the box and uh, make some cake popsicles. So all I have to do is pour the batter in, decorate, and serve. Cooks in minutes, no war warming up the oven. Um, all right, so I'm gonna open it up. Okay, so yes, it's looks brand new. Looks like it hasn't been used. We have our instruction booklet right here. It's a non-stick coated machine. All right, it's actually a pretty large instruction booklet, like caring, storing, warnings, recipes. All right, you have your sticks for the putting in the cake, and you have your cake sickle maker right here. So all these kind of look like variations of like you know the GT Express. I don't know if you remember that, but that's kind of a product I've tested. And they're all kind of the same idea. This these little circular, um, you know, cooking uh, appliances that have you know various shapes, you know, nonstick shapes that you you know put. You make quesadillas. In this case, you make uh, cake. Um, GT Express kind of has different chambers. So it's all kind of variation of the same product, just recycled again and again marketed in a little bit different way but i'm going to test this out it's kind of a novel idea if it actually works uh and let's get started so i'm going to make let's see i'm going to make this pillsbury funfetti and i have some frosting some pillsbury milk chocolate frosting all right so it's ready to go it was orange and now you can see the green light came on so you just press down this little lever and it opens up, it's extremely hot, and it's just a tiny, tiny amount of cake batter is what it needs, so it's not much at all. Um, I was gonna use a larger kind of spoon, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of tablespoon. I do not wanna overfill these. This is kind of just a cake snack, pretty much. I mean, you could almost serve these as kind of hors d'oeuvres at a party if you wanted to. All right. And you can hear it sizzling. It's already cooking. All right. All right, there we go. I'm gonna close this lid and and so it said use a tablespoon uh, I can see maybe I put a little bit too much it's leaking out of the side so you're gonna have to kind of get used to that uh, kind of play around with how much you're putting in there all right so I wasn't keeping the exact time but I about two minutes so maybe a little bit over um, and they're already starting to burn but not too bad Definitely still edible, but they're very, very, very thin, these things. These are just completely snack, little bite-sized snack, uh, I guess, cakes. All right, so I'm gonna start decorating them. And you can decorate them, you know, as fancy as you want them. Uh, the picture kind of has sprinkles and those little dots. I'm just gonna put some of this milk chocolate uh, frosting. 
Uh, let's just do one side. All right, that's a really bad job. But you get the picture. And I'm gonna stick this on here. And there is what it looks like. That is your finished product. Definitely wanna spend more time decorating. But it basically, you know, in the picture they don't have these wooden sticks. They're actually colored. Um, on the package they're kinda like uh, striped or some of them are blue. So you're not gonna get that, you're gonna get wood color. Um, but yeah, you can spend more time decorating, but I'm gonna try it out, see how it tastes. It actually tastes really good. Um, I mean, it tastes like cake and frosting, so how could you go wrong? But I like that it's bite size. Um, I think, uh, you know, if you don't want a full cake and you just kinda want a fun treat, fun snack, I do recommend the Bella Cakesicle Maker. Um, I wouldn't pay more than, you know, like 20 bucks for this thing. It's a pretty cheaply made um, cooker. It's, uh, you know, the nonstick coating, at least with my GT Express, it eventually comes off. With a cake, I think it's going to be a little bit more durable because it's not going to be, you're not going to be cooking steak like you do on the GT Express. And the, you know, the nonstick coating eventually did come off, so I stopped using it. Um, so keep that in mind. But if you can get it less than 20 bucks, check your local... Uh, you know, Goodwill or whatever. I got it for $4.99, which is a great deal. And I uh, do recommend it. So, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you want to support, go to patreon.com. And as always, thanks for watching my channel. I'll see you later.